say I'm an American, but I'm someone who doesn't have as much time to read as you do or I do. And I'm only going to take away one book tip from this podcast or video. I'm going to you know, walk into a Barnes & Noble or go to Amazon and I want to buy a new book. And at the margin, what's the piece of information I should have that will help me make a better decision? Other than just saying, well, go to Literary Saloon and see what I tell you to do. But more generally, um, I forgot my iPad. I'm in Strand or Barnes and Noble. Uh, well, I think uh, mm. d depending on the bookstore, and uh, b but it works probably even for, for many of the Barnes and Noble ones, uh, I really think you should have some faith in the staff uh, that they, they will be able to best guide you. I, I'm certain at Strand, for example, which uh, the, the uh, booksellers there are book lovers, and if you give them a bit of uh, information about what would be suitable for you, that they will be able to guide you. Um, I mean, I like to think that the complete review is meant to guide oh, readers to, to their books, right? Uh, and I, so I think uh, on the more localized level in the bookstore, you, you hopefully get that as well. I think I've bought more than 100 books because of you, <laughs> so I thank you for that. But let's okay. say now I'm someone who more or less reads for a living. Maybe I write books, or I'm a book reviewer, or I'm a certain kind of journalist, or I work in publishing. And you can give me advice at the margin, how to make a better book choice, something to buy and read. For that kind of person, it's harder to give advice, right? But what Very would your so. advice be? Ah, oh, God, I don't, I don't know that I would. Uh, um, I, I'm, I, I don't really have a system for picking books myself. I'm, I'm very much... But that can't be true. You may not have articulated your system. Uh, yes, but, but... I saw you in the Strand. You have rules and principles. <laughs> you turn the corner at a certain time. You know what sections to go to. Uh, right, and it's... Uh, but, yeah, it's a very personal uh, selection process, I think. And, uh, I mean, it's... I, I think it's whatever information works for you. Uh, uh, one source of information, for example, is... is uh, uh, seeing what uh, imprint is published to certain publishers. So um, the, if, if New Directions or New York rev uh, Review Books have brought out a volume, uh, you know uh, pr uh, possibly in what kind of book this might be. And so that, that n helps narrow it down. And um, in a bookstore with book, uh, used bookstores, you have to be familiar with the older imprints, for example, uh, um, which just takes a lot of practice, I guess. Um, but that, uh, for example, is one of the sources of uh, information. But it's, it's very difficult, I think, to uh, narrow it down. And I think that's one of the wonderful things of going in a bookstore and of being willing to take a chance and pick up something that hasn't been shoved down your throat, hasn't been recommended in 15 different publications. Um, because uh, the, the offerings out there are so rich that you can really find many things just at the extremes.